first we heard of this was a report from a local uh, Eli Holmes who was surprised by a number of break-ins that had occurred at his home. Uh, apparently, all he'd actually noticed was that the door had been left ajar and nothing had been removed, nothing had been stolen, but there was a strange odor in the room. His report was convincing enough to allow us to, or, or to encourage us to take a camera crew along and, and see if we could discover anything on his behalf. And, and upon opening the restroom door, discovered Bigfoot utilizing the toilet and reading what was apparently the Discover magazine. Indeed, Eli, it was Bigfoot. We decided to investigate further and sent a team out to do some interviewing with the locals. While interviewing Sally Summer, though, we found that it, apparently Bigfoot's appearance was quite usual around that neighborhood. And indeed, as the camera looked up, we perceived what was that indeed Bigfoot? It certainly appears to be Bigfoot. Slow that down, could we? Yes, indeed. It's Bigfoot shopping. Further investigation revealed that there'd been a number of reports on Bigfoot in the area. In fact, a local security camera revealed that Bigfoot indeed drives his own automobile and, from what we understand, stole gasoline from this very store. It was discovered by local students, uh, including one young man who apparently was getting too close and had to be pulled back. Turns out that Bigfoot's not that good a driver. As he was escaping from the lot, uh, he almost hit a pedestrian. And again, we have some video from a, a local resident by the name of Tom Ringsworth that was having a party, and uh, apparently, unnoticed, uh, Bigfoot had been attending for a number of hours before actually being noticed. Or perhaps he had been. Although certainly these young ladies noticed him. It seems that one of Bigfoot's defenses is to freeze, immobilize himself, and, and apparently he become in, close to invisible. Notice how he appears to blend into those tiles perfectly. And again, in this footage of a local business owner making a documentary about hooliganism uh, in the vicinity of his store, we again see what appears to be Bigfoot, this time attempting to skateboard and escaping with a rather loping gait. Run on Bigfoot, live free.